The Maple Grove girls basketball team is one of the top teams in the area, and they're hungry to return to the state tournament for the first time since 2019. In this week's CCX Sports Spotlight, Jay Wilcox profiles Crimson standout Jordan Odie. Despite having to replace some key players from last season's 24-win team, Jordan Odie and the Maple Grove girls basketball team entered Friday night with a 9-2 record. Honestly, I'm not surprised. I knew he had it in us. Um, I'm honestly just taking it one game at a time, so I didn't really think ahead too much. But I knew we had it in us, and I know we're going to have hopefully a big run here and then in sections and then even in state. Odie's still a junior, but it's her fourth year as a varsity regular for the Crimson. She's highly respected and liked within the program. She's so fun to have as a teammate. Uh, she came up with me her eighth grade year, my freshman year, so we've been playing together for so long. Um, she's a really fun person to play with, uh, good, good, good at make, creating her shots and creating shots for others, so it's super fun to play with her. Jordan's an amazing player. She, um, you know, she's a great teammate, she's a great leader, she, um, she's the first kid into the gym, she's the last kid out of the gym, um, she works hard, she, you know, she wins every single sprint we run, she, she, she wins it. Um, you know, nobody's going to ever question Jordan Odie's work ethic, and as a coach, that's all you can ask for. Odie's averaging just over 20 points per game. She's a key scorer for the Crimson, but is having a good overall season beyond just point totals. Um, I feel great about it. Um, it's mostly all because of my teammates, just because of the work we put in in the offseason and in the summer. We have so many threats offensively, so it makes it easy for me to get my baskets, as well as kick the open shooters. You know, she makes that extra pass. I think she really believes in and trusts her teammates, which is great, and um, which is why we're having some of the success that we're having and getting the open shots that we're getting. She gets a lot of attention. She knows that. Um, and I don't think she's forcing stuff this year. I think she's moving, moving the ball a lot. And, and you know, you've really seen her growth as a player. Jordan's been a part of the Crimson program for a long time and looked up to older players as she was coming up through the system. A couple in particular. Kylie Baronic and Jordan Lamker were two of my favorites growing up. Um, I saw them at all the kids' camps and they were just my favorite players growing up. And to get to play with them my last year was just amazing when I was an eighth grader. As she's gotten older, Odie's added things to her game, too. Every year, I've kind of just set new goals for myself. Um, specifically in the mid-range, I've really developed that a lot. In eighth grade year, I wasn't shooting any mid-range, and having that now has been a huge tool for me. As well as my passing abilities has been huge. And then 1,000 points, I got that just this year, but that was a goal that I set for myself as well. That combination of skills drew a lot of D1 college interest, and Jordan's made her choice already. Michigan State University. So they were actually one of the last schools to recruit me and as soon as I talked to Coach Cameron was the first coach that I talked to. She's an assistant um, and I loved her and then getting a chance to talk to Coach Freilich, it was amazing. They were at all my AAU games. She was front row at every single one and I just knew I wanted to go there. She still has another season and a half of high school ball to add to her list of accomplishments. But in a Maple Grove program that's produced some great players, Jordan Odie's already near the top. I think you can certainly make the argument that she might be the best player that's ever come through this program. We've had some good ones, um, you know, but she, she's right up there at the top. I value Cook's opinion so much. He's been my coach for so long. Um, even when I was in the little kids camp, I knew who he was and I valued his opinion. Um, but that, that's amazing to me, honestly. Um, to be ahead of like, players like Jordan Lamker and Abby Schulte in his eyes, that's just, I can't even believe it. For the CCX Sports Spotlight, I'm Jay Wilcox. Find more prep sports games and highlights at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.